Hey, what's up guys? It's Lubu here and welcome to X Defiant. We're finally in the servers. It's been about eight minutes now since the servers have launched and dude, this game's got a battle pass already. The factions to unlock. We already have custom loadouts. We don't have to hit like rank four or five and the camel grind, which I'm going to show last before we hop into a game. But we have a store as well that you can buy. There's already skins outside and there's a profile. You could customize your player card, your player animation, your emojis, your career stats as well. And for the camo challenges, it's very easy. Let's say I want and do the AK and we all go over to mastery. We have three camos on lock bronze, silver, and gold, each one being about 25 levels more than the other. Honestly, like gold's kind of clean as well. I didn't even check it out here, but oh, that is cleats all over the gun. Okay, but let's hop into our first match of X Defiant, man. The official X Defiant game. And I'm gonna be sniping for my first game, and then for my second game, I'm gonna be sweating my balls off. So, no skill based matchmaking. This is what Call of Duty should have been and should be right now. No skill-based matchmaking and unranked modes and just like complete freedom and movement with no restrictions and all that stuff. All my settings feel the same. All my controller settings feel the same, but my sensitivity kind of feels off. Our first kill right there. Then we got a feed. There we go. That's one. Grenade. Someone might be coming through here. There we go. Another one. Holy shit! Oh my god! Uh, why is there only two people on our team? Don't tell me that the matchmaking is broken, bro. That would suck. That would actually suck. It's searching for players, but nobody's joining. I mean, it's the launch of the game. Shouldn't it be alive and well? Dude, you got out movemented, bro. I don't even think that's a word. And it's just only me left. I just put out a tweet talking about tearing off input based matchmaking because nobody can really find your game people are responding to me like saying like does it help because people are not able to join games mid-match and people are not able to find matches right now with it on i don't know why they would auto enable it it's kind of weird but yeah i think turning off input based matchmaking actually does help because i was able to find a game a lot quicker and i actually have teammates for once i'm whiffing my shots bro Dude, dude, teammates, where are you guys? I hate escort. I hate when you just can't spawn in immediately and there's like a timer they have to wait towards. Like, I hate that, dude. Everything feels like not different, but a lot better. This guy, you are awful. I didn't, I didn't kill him. The game feels the exact same from a month ago from the last beta. But I think the match making is a little bit off because people are actually playing the game for once, dude. But I definitely don't feel like I have like have to carry that that I have to carry the team. It feels like a lot more balanced than uh usual. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of people leaving the matches and all that stuff, but I feel like people are also joining in. I think the matchmaking is a little bit off. Oh, I almost, almost hit that, dude. First X Defiant trick shot. <laughs> I should honestly go for it. <laughs> I don't ever trick shot. Like, as a kid, I could, but now I can't. <laughs> Look how spread out the teams are, though. My teammates are getting kills. They're getting assists. And they're actually showing the KDA for once, bro. Push this back, guys. Where, where is this guy? Oh my god, what a shot. What what was that explosion? That's a nade. That's another Oh my god. Wow, I just got double naded, dude. Holy crap. Here we go for the trick shot. Okay, absolutely stinkered it. <laughs> we gotta push up, guys. Enough messing around. I think we just defended it. There we go. I mean, we're just popping off here. We're just popping off here. Come on. Come on! First game on. First legit game, baby. Come on, baby. First round victory. Pure domination from your boy. I think the biggest problem that I'm going to have is that I have to switch from X Defiant to Call of Duty because my, my, my idea is to start... Because my idea is to start posting X Defiant at the same time 
with Call of Duty. So I'm going to be switching back and forth between both games, whatever I'm feeling that day, honestly. But yeah, this game feels nice. It's running nice. 220 FPS. I think 400 sometimes. Hopefully this guy peaks. I just, I, I literally put the sight onto him. There we go. There's one. Literally just got beat 34.9%. This should be pretty easy. These guys are trash. Peek. Somebody peek. Come on. Whoa. Oh, he had a shield up. Oh my God. I'm like, yo, how is he not dead? Come on, guys. We can beat these guys already. We'll start retreating soon. Someone's going to get on it. Come on now. Easy. <laughs> we beat it. <laughs> That was easy. Look at the dance. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So with that first game of just me doing what I want, that felt great. I think I, did I get player? I got player of the game. Yo, how does it feel? Look like at shit on. <laughs> with that first full game, I felt really great. Like everything felt smooth. Everything felt responsive. The only thing that I would change is add perks at least and or add score streaks, right? and then have different models for different teams. So if I'm on red team, I should have like models where like it's Libertad, but they have like something significant that tells them that they're on the red team, right? Rather than just different player models for each, you know, faction. Like for Libertad, instead of having like blue leather, have red leather if she's on the red team, but have blue leather if she's on the blue team. Because for me, it's hard to really identify who's on my team other than the red icon on top so i would make it more noticeable for which like team that they're on because it's red and blue right have red and blue variations of each faction um you know character skins but yeah for the last game i'm gonna be using the ak this was my favorite ar to use in the game during the beta so hopefully it's still good and if you were wondering what my settings are for my controller since there is legit no custom key binds, that's the biggest thing that i want for xfine right now custom key binds. i run regular stick layout but skill thumb brawler flipped so my crouch is right and then i can bunny hop with l2 and then i aim with l1 and shoot with r1 and here are the rest of my settings as well they're pretty fast my dead zone's a little bit off but yeah yeah i think there's actual matchmaking issues i've seen j god talk about it about unable to find a match people are not able to find matches modern war zone Face scope. So I think this is a daily issue, but I'm trying to get one more game in. On Mark Rubin's Twitter, it's literally a dumpster fire of people saying that the servers are not on. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to give this another like, what? 10 minutes until 150 because I got to upload this video quick. 10 minutes later. I, I can't believe I'm going to end the video like this, dude. Can't find a match. I had a good first full match, but uh, clearly, um, <laughs> see my career stats. I've played a total of eight minutes in the game. In the last... 48 minutes. I've only played eight minutes within two matches. The first match I lasted three minutes in, and the other match was five minutes. Damn it! Ugh. Oh my god. Don't give me the unable to find match screen of doom, dude. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god, please, 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 please. Yes, 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 yes! Oh my god! Finally, I can play the game! My last game! It's time to use my AK-47! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we finally was able to find a game, and it's on a good map. Let's go! Let's do it! Alright, Libertad, AK-47, do me right. Look at the skill-based matchmaking. I mean, we have a mix of level 1s, people that have already played their first match, and, and people that actually have played their matches as well. I've gotten into the game, so let's see, man. There we go, got that guy. Oh my god, we're actually in a game, dude. And I already got a kill. Oh my, did I just get two with that? Oh my god, I'm Kobe-ing everybody right now. I'm sweating this out, dude, because this is my last game before I have to edit and upload this for you guys. Oh, oh my god. Why, why did I just spawn behind him like that? Hold up. Wait, what the hell? I mean, I'll take it, but that didn't really help me out. I was not expecting that. I was doing better with the sniper. I'm finally in a match and, like, I'm playing like shit. <laughs> I got all my kills from, like, grenades, bro. 
I just got shot through a building. Through through a structure. Not a building, but through a structure. You know what I mean. What the hell? I was like, I thought I was fully covered there. Oh my god. My teammates are just not playing objective. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. I mean, the game's playing out smooth. I'm not crashed or anything. It's just that the matchmaking was just off for literally like 20 minutes. I mean, I was, I'm, do, I'm doing what I was saying I was going to do, but it just looks like I got bad matchmaking in this game and not that my teammates are trash. It's just that I got bad matchmaking. What is that sound? That is an annoying sound. Is there a way I can disable the sound while I'm on the hard point? Holy crap. Idiot. Holy crap, I'm popping off. Holy crap, I'm popping off! Oh, dude, the, the voiceover and like all that stuff is just throwing me off. I'm I feel like I'm talking to real people. You know, I was gonna have a headset. These two don't know the map. Oh my god. You're just- Oh my god! It's third game, third actual game, and I'm popping off, oh, baby! My settings are so good, man! There's gotta be people still here. There we go. This guy's not looking at his mini-map. There we go. We just cleared out the site to my ultimate ability like that. This guy's trash. <laughs> that his aim is trash. Trying to push by him behind here. That doesn't know. Oh, I almost got there. Let's see if we could drop 50, dude. But yeah, you guys literally saw me struggle there with the matchmaking and all that stuff. Like, I didn't reverse boost. I didn't, you know, do anything. I'm just playing good. That's it. And look at my teammates. They don't even have less than, like, five kills. It's not like Call of Duty where... I am expected to carry. It's what old Call of Duty was, where it's just random matchmaking. It's based on ping, and they just match the teams as best as they can. Guys, we got to rush in there. I mean, what are we doing? Come on, man. I just whiffed. I just whiffed. I just whiffed. No! <laughs> I can definitely drop 50, but my teammates need to start playing objective more. Holy crap, I just popped off there. Damn, that sucks, dude. We're losing this. Kobe Nade. Hopefully it gets somebody. I don't think it will. I'm just trying to stay alive as best as I can. Trying to win this game for my team, bro. GG's. Did I get 50? Did I get 50? That's all that matters, bro. Wow, my first... Two full games of X Defiant was absolutely insane. I think I got player of the game as well. Yeah, I did 7,500 score, 7,480, whatever you want to call it. Sheesh! 51. Oh! But yeah, guys, I'm going to end off the video here. X Defiant's fun when it's actually playable. But they need to fix the servers. They need to add score streaks and kill streaks. An easier way to actually identify who's on your team or not with different colored skins and all that stuff. Add in custom keybinds. But other than that, I enjoy the game. But the servers just need to work. But yeah, spin your button below, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.